here are some anatomy terms that you probably have mispronounced because I know I have. First up is larynx and this is located in your neck and it holds your vocal cords. Then there's another word which is very similar to the one we just went over called the pharynx and this is the throat region that is behind the nose and the mouth and it allows for passage of food, liquid, and air. Next is the duodenum or some people like to say the duodenum and this is the first part of the small intestine. Now as a side note, I'm from the south and some people in the south especially the teachers that I've been taught by, pronounce this as duodenum. Then we have another intestinal word called the jejunum, and this is actually the middle part of the small intestine, and this is where the site of nutrient absorption occurs. This word is occipital, and it refers to the back of the skull, and this is the vision center of your brain. Next is coccyx, and this is just a fancy way of saying your butt bone or your tailbone, and it's the attachment site for many pelvic muscles and ligaments. This word is perineum, and it's the area between the anus and the genitals. Followed by that is the axilla, and whenever someone's talking about the axilla, they're talking about the armpits. This word is alveoli, and this is the tiny sacs in your lungs where gas exchange occurs. Next is sternocleidomastoid, and this is a neck muscle, and what it's talking about is a muscle that helps you rotate and flex your neck. This word is parietal and it refers to the wall of a structure. Next is zygomatic and all that means is we're talking about the cheekbone region. This word is peritoneum and it's the membrane lining the abdominal cavity. This term is ganglia and this is just talking about a cluster of cell bodies outside the CNS. And then lastly is ilium, and this is the uppermost part of the hip bone. Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, you can access the link in the description below.